The arrival of the Ugandan President Yoweri Museveni caused a star in the lakeside city of Kisumu. The visiting president, accompanied by his host, Prime Minister Raila Odinga, were forced to make several stopovers in the town to accept greetings from eager residents. More was in store for the Ugandan president, one of the longest serving leaders in the African continent. He was installed as a Luo elder, an honor befitting his status. <laughs> Despite the fact that Museveni and his host have had a love-hate relationship, Odinga was quick to narrate to the audience how Museveni was instrumental in saving him from being detained by the government of the day as he sought refuge in Uganda. When the security caught up with me, they told me that uh, President Museveni want me to know that uh, I will be given all the protection that I require. Even though Museveni was invited here to preside over fundraiser at the Great Lakes University, the Ugandan leader could not resist speaking about his desire for a political federation in the region, an idea that has often seen some member states develop called FIT. The countries of this region can only grow faster and attain the vision by coming closer together and forming not just a community, not a customs union, not um, a common market, but a federation, a political federation <laughs> that we really need to bite the bullet and move that extra mile so that we can really solidify the unity in these countries. That's why we are talking about East African integration. How will we compete if we remain small and you must compete with China, 1.3 billion people? China is 3 million square miles of land. You can fit Uganda and Kenya into China 30 times. Uganda and Kenya, you put them together, you put it here 30 times. That's how Uganda and Kenya will be able to fit in, in, into the territory of China. They say in politics there are no permanent friends and there are no permanent enemies. Only permanent interests exist. Interests that sometimes supersede the need to have a political federation within the East Africa region. Museveni also underscored the need for the region's institutions of higher learning to offer courses that were in line with the needs of the job market. Somebody gets a degree in conflict resolution, <laughs> Bachelor of Arts in conflict resolution. Okay, what will you do when the conflicts are finished? <laughs> and are you going to promote conflicts so that you can employ these graduates? The funds drive raised a total of 31 million shillings, with Museveni contributing 8 million shillings and Prime Minister Raila Odinga contributing 6 million shillings. Thank you. President Kibaki sent a personal donation of 2 million shillings through Internal Security Minister Professor John Saitoti. Franklin Masharia, Citizen Weekend, Kisumu County.